hugely the economy, and you see that uh, 2015, 4% down the growth, and then 2016, we expect uh, a little minus again, and a lot of prediction, also the International Monetary Fund, expect that the growth will start from 2017 and will continue in 2018. Uh, all the sanctions which will happen uh, against Russian economy uh, push the local production to produce products and to produce goods instead of importation. So now you can find beautiful burrata cheese done in Moscow. Uh, good quality, very good quality. You can find mozzarella, you can find you know, different products which before were imported which now really started to be produced in our territory. Meat, angus meat, uh, the cows which are brought from, from Holland, from, from states, from, from different countries. And so it's pushed a lot agricultural uh, production, uh, a bit also a wine, but for you good news that we are a bit north country, so not so much territories where we can really grow the vineyards. So if you can see with this slide, you can see that the green line, the green line is an oil, oil price, and you see that we were very high, more than hundred dollars per barrel, and the rate was ruble and euro was very low. Then you see how the, how practically till March this year the rate was really down. So we arrived with euro starting from 45 rubles a euro. We finished at around 90 uh, rubles a euro, so practically double the cost of the currency and now you see the oil a little bit starting to go up so we really expect and we we hope and this is very important for all all uh, I think all businessmen that uh, oil should stabilize and we will find some uh, new balance between uh, between uh, offer and uh, orders in the oil market so that will give us a certain stability for our currency, which is very important for the families, for the people who buy wine, because again, we're working with a product which should bring joy and happiness. Uh, sometimes people drink also in the sad time, but we prefer they drink in the good time more. So we would like the currency to be much more stable. That's, that's what we will see in the next six months. And as you see, the inflation was really drop immediately in the first quarter of 2015, you can see here, from it was stabilizing for practically last years, and then in 2014, especially in the last quarter, when the rates start to change, the inflation start to grow. Annual inflation wasn't so high, but next year you see that inflation immediately jumped double. And this is, and, and, and this is a serious problem, of course, for, for, for everybody, because the credit rates immediately from the banks grew up dramatically. So we, we, uh, we had a growth of uh, rates for credits in rubles uh, around three times a year. So from 9, 10% a year we, to 25, 30% a year. So it's, 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 very, it's very high. And you see that the population income uh, it's really it's, it's really decreasing, and you see that the forecast is still is still not so not so good for for, for people because salaries are not uh, changing according to inflation. Companies just don't have resources to change the salaries, and I think the main uh, the main target for the private companies now is to keep people working to pay the salary on time uh, and to let's say to show that the business is stable because otherwise it will be a problem for globally for the economy. Retail, you see the retail is losing also, is, our, is one of our biggest economy uh, machine, retail. Uh, retail was growing enormously all the years uh, in Russia and then started to decline and you see that now retail is really, really it's, it's huge decrease. It's, if, you, if you see that the percentage look like not so big, but in reality it's really a big thing for retail. Because retail work with a little margin, so for them minus 13%, minus 10% a year, it's big, big damage. And we will talk later how retail changed the policy and what they are doing and it's very much inflate our business. So, I mean, a wine important business. So, uh, so what happened on the wine and spirits market in Russia? So, just 
we just remind you how it was structurized in terms of the consumption. If you look in 1975, 1985, the Soviet time, uh, you will be surprised that we didn't drink much vodka and beer at that time. And starting from uh, Soviet Union collapse period, people start really to drink vodka a lot, and you can see the gray color spirits. It's mainly vodka, 99% 90, vodka, because uh, we, maybe in 95, we produce some with local cognac, but it's not a big thing. And if we before were drinking about 5 liters, then you see that it arrived 20 liters, which is four times more. Uh, and why you see after Gorbachev, uh, we were talking about this many times, but after Gorbachev came, we practically lost the vineyards. They killed the vineyards, they cut the vineyards out. So then the market was changed in a, in a beer side. You see the beer become a king. In all these years, beer was, you know, playing the huge role on the market because, uh, as maybe you know, beer in Russia was, till last two years, was uh, not alcoholic drink by law, it was juice. So they, they, they would grow any, anyhow. So, and big uh, corporations, uh, they, they bought all the companies in Russia, and markets completely belongs to Carlsberg, to uh, Sun, Sub Miller, and, and Sun and Bev, and so on, these kind of companies. So you see that the slowly beer started to go down, and wine grew up, and now we still stay at a certain level of 7 liters, in spite of 13, which was before in the Soviet time. So we expect, of course, in the future, the growth. Uh, of, 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 of this. And now, look what happened with the market in terms of the local and imported wines. Imported wines were growing since 2001, slowly by slowly by slowly, they, they, they arrived to 30, let's say 35 percent, and immediately dropped down after the 2015, after the changing of the currency, immediately dropped down to the 26 percent, so it's, it's a huge drop. Uh, and you see that the Russian wines uh, took, uh, again, back a certain majority in the market, a little bit slowed down in terms of total volume, but still, still keeping a size, let's say, good size. And if you see here, uh, total wine still and sparkling wine, and still and sparkling wine separately fall from, this is from all over. It's important to add, let's say, that in, in Russia it's very difficult to analyze um, uh, the market with AC Nielsen results, for example. They don't do really the reports. We don't have reports about uh, Horeca sales, and we don't have reports about uh, retail uh, clear enough because we still have very fragmented retail market. We have a lot of chains in Russia which are not really big, but there are many of them. So they sell quite a lot. And if you analyze Nielsen data, sometimes it really not shows the real situation. So what we do, we analyze the custom importation data which show us uh, globally how much wine was imported to Russia from all over the world and how much the wines that cost. So you see that in 2014, if you see that column here, the drop wasn't so dramatic. Some categories like sparkling even were a little bit growing in, in volume, but let loose in the, in the value. And you see the next 15 to 14, you see the drop is really, really serious. It's 30%, 35%, it's, it's, it's serious drop down in value and in volume. And if you see the country of origin, who was decreasing in mass market wine segment, you can see that we calculate mass market wines, let's say, uh, which are X works less than 2.5 euros because that that was before certain certain price border was where the, let's say premium wines was starting and you see the old world we call this Germany Germany Austria Spain is all Europe except Italy and France which we put on a side so you see the wines of that in mass market they decrease. About 20%, Italy only 11%, France you see decreasing practically 40%, and you see Georgia is 50% down. It's it's that so you can understand that Italy did well, did well due to the first the, you know the cuisine which everywhere the restaurants are the supporting and plus I think that Italy is one of the maybe most beloved country by Russians and so that that's very good. If you see the premium segment, the drop is more serious. 
definitely you see Italy already minus 30%, and France again minus 40%. And you see, we talk about uh, value uh, decrease in Georgia again 50%. So you see what's going on in 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 in, in this uh, in our market in this segment. But Italy still keep the the first position. If we only analyze the Italian wines, so we can see that uh, inside Italian wines the drop uh, of 2015 was more in value. So you see the digits in, in steel wines and uh, sparkling wines, they more or less decreasing same. But interesting is that if you see the average bottle price, if you see the volume of importation, which minus 20%, and if you see the value, which also minus 20%, you see that the average bottle price is still the same globally if we analyze all wine importations from, from Italy. But if we start to look at the segmentation, that's a bit for us was a surprise that even the mass market price was a little bit growing, which we need to analyze why. But in, uh, in uh, premium segment, you see the drop here. In, in the premium segment, you see that the average bottle price uh, dropped down below 5 euros a bottle in January. And the, the market is 24% uh, down in volume in the last year. Sparkling wine. Sparkling wine is always a big category due to the also Prosecco and uh, Asti, which is really become more and more serious player on the market and we hope that for Russia will be still some Prosecco available because other countries are sourcing quite seriously but you see that the drop was quite impressive quite impressive and uh, especially in the volume if you look at the sparkling wine really quite seriously in Italy also here look at this it's uh, Italian sparkling seriously dropped down due to the fact that a lot of retailers really start to import by themselves. And this is a new reality when we will see the results of importation, you will see now, a little bit later, who is the first uh, 10 importers. You will be surprised about the new names you never saw before in, in, in our statistics. So you see 2.1. Spirits also. Spirits was affected even more. You see the grappa in 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 value grappa was practically half down in, in globally inside the spirits category, which was seriously damaged uh, last year and even the year before. And you see the grappa de declining practically in two years from.